Hey, my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. It looks like Krishan Rock's trolling definitely backfired on her. Let's go ahead and get into what happened. Just yesterday, she decided to post to her Twitter and she said, Lil Baby, a real one, trying to get back at her baby daddy, Blueface. Knowing that Blueface gets jealous of her imaginary relationship with Lil Baby. Well, Blueface decides to try to get back at Krishan by posting and saying, to Siki, a real one, which I believe is Krishan Rock's sister, okay? Well, Lil Baby, it looks like he has had enough with his name being put in the midst of their drama so he decided to speak out letting it be known that he never tried to get at Krishan Rock in that manner he said I ain't with the trolling ish I'll be laughing at certain ish but all right now stop playing I ain't never tried to talk to no MF Krishan please stop attaching my name to that he also posted and he said I seen her at a party and I told her some real ish she know that I never tried to talk to her I know I bring attention but Krishan even trolling about a child and stuff is too far like and then he kind of put like the mad or mean face emoji okay now this was completely embarrassing it's especially the fact that little baby decided to post that he said i ain't never tried to get at no mf krishan like that's like somebody posting or somebody being like Ugh, i don't want that person if i was krishan i would have posted i would have been like hold up not too much on me though okay <laughs> anyways krishan decided to respond and she said see he finally said it facts told y'all been attached to his name because my baby daddy insecure af told y'all someone tell blue he can stop trolling me now like i said for sean you cannot even act like this was not embarrassing you definitely tried it by using little baby's name in that tweet and he decided to let it be known that he does not want you like that which made you look completely bad now that's when blueface decides to post a tweet and he's like don't nobody want your snaggle tooth ass on sy i am not your baby daddy stop talking about me child like i said krishan was just getting embarrassed from every which way it just seemed like she just needed to chill out and give twitter and social media a break and focus on that beautiful baby that she has okay that's just my honest advice for her but you guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section let's go ahead and move on to tamar braxton and jeremy now in my yesterday's video i let you guys know that tamar and jeremy ended their engagement it looks like these two just completely ended their relationship with each other jeremy even confirmed these rumors by releasing a statement onto his insta story let's go ahead and get back into what he said he posted he said so many questions so many assumptions i want to answer all that i can with respect yes tamar and i are no longer together i ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person what happened and why that's our private place no i never cheated no i wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was burglarized no i never cared about the fame who reveres their most embarrassing moments in their life to find fame i have always represented famous people and the truth is i was in an amazing place financially and mentally I turned down Queen's Court several times before I gave in. Ultimately, I fell in love and did not end how I wanted it. So I want to heal Tamar and I will always be friends and family for life. Thank you for respecting our privacy. So that's what Jeremy had to say, confirming that him and Tamar had ended their relationship. Like I told you guys, he definitely said a lot in that because he said that he ended the relationship, which meant that he broke up with Tamar. And he also said he wanted to get back to focusing on positive energy which definitely means that he believes that tamar was given out a lot of negative energy okay like i said he said a lot without saying too much now tamar after he released this statement of course tamar she decides to speak out and it looks like she just wanted to clear up the air and she let it be known that she has done a lot to change herself and work on her mental stability and she feels like quote unquote people are trying to hold her past against her and hold on to how she used to be and use that against her and she's simply not that person anymore now this is even tamar saying a lot without not even saying that much it seems like what tamar is saying is that jeremy was trying to hold her past against her trying to say that you know she was the same person that she was back then i guess people just feel like tamar used to be really mean now i'm gonna be honest i have not watched that many shows with tamar in it but i do know that tamar does have a reputation of being like a little sassy a a little bossy a little mean and it seems like jeremy just felt the same way about tamar braxton and he tried to use that against her and he decided to break up with her now tamar in this video she did say that she was very hurt but she was going to get over it i feel like it's unfortunate that these two's relationship 
ended as quick as it did but hey you know maybe they just weren't meant for each other and they just need to get themselves together separately you guys let me know what you think about that now let's go ahead and get into our last topic which is going to be jody turner smith and joshua jackson okay now this news has been going around that these two have divorced actually jody she's the one who decided to file for a divorce but what's really going around about their relationship or their marriage is that she's the one who decided to propose to him and there's a lot of people saying that they knew it wasn't going to last because she was the one who decided to propose to him it almost seems like people are insinuating that he wasn't really into her as much because she was the one who had to propose now nobody really knows what happened in their marriage and why these two are getting divorced it hasn't been that much information put out about it i mean the information was just put out definitely want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions since we are in the year 2023 and we know that things are completely different than how they used to be do you guys believe in women actually proposing or stepping up to do things that men used to do i know they're saying that we're in the sassy apocalypse do you believe in proposing to a man since we are in this new generation since we are in this new era do you think that that's okay or do you feel like it always ends bad you guys can let me know what you think about this in the comment section once again my lovely tts thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end and like i always say i will see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night